Man, clout is one heck of a drug. And in this very, very quick live, we are going to talk about how this ripper got fired on her day off. And then the club decided to start trying to clout chase off of the opportunity as well. I mean, everybody trying to get clout off of a sad and unfortunate situation and it just don't make no sense at all now we're going to get into the details of all of the goings ons that's goings ons right after this intro hey what's up it's your girl meek and you're tuned in to meek at night if this is your first time here over here we are the night owls if you have not hit that subscribe button i want you to go ahead and do that right now this is a channel where i talk about celebrity news and gossip and give my opinion on trending stories but just know keep in mind that over here this is an acquired taste you know what i'm saying this ain't for everybody so you know proceed with caution but you know hit, still hit that subscribe button Anyways. All right, so boom, let's get into this gig. So this woman right here is taking delusion and attention to a whole new level, child. It just don't make no type of sense. And we are going to get into it. So about a week ago, there was a very, very, very sad and tragic incident that happened at an amusement park in Orlando, Florida. There was a guy by the name or a young boy by the name of Tyree whom fell from a ride. Now, once he fell from the ride, there was this woman who came up trying to get clout off of the situation. It's just a whole heaping mess and it just don't make no sense at all. None whatsoever. Now, I'm going to give you guys a report of what happened with Tyree. Just to give you guys a refresher, I'm sure a lot of you guys have already heard about this story. But just to give you guys a refresher, I'm going to share, you know, a quick news clipping about what happened. And then we're going to get into this woman and her delusion. Okay. Hold up, wait. Well, Tyree's family says prior to his death, he was turned away from two rides at Icon Park. Now, new records indicate that Tyree may have been too large for the free fall ride as well. Tonight, the mystery of the Orlando Park ride death deepens. Tyree Sampson's seat was still locked when he slipped out of the free fall ride at Icon Park on Thursday. The Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services has now released a one-page report with three employees named as witnesses. The report states when the magnets engaged to slow the ride during the 430 feet descent, Tyree came out of the seat, but the harness was still in a down and locked position when the ride stopped. There's also questions about whether Tyree was too large to be on the ride in the first place. Family says Tyree weighed more than 300 pounds, but the ride's manual warns the maximum passenger weight is 130 kilograms or about 287 pounds. All right. So as you see here, like I said, there was this tragedy that took place at the park. He was an individual that wanted to ride the rides. I believe that he was over there with his, um, I think like with like a, a football team or something like that. And they had went to this amusement park and he wanted to get on the ride. Prior to him getting on the ride, he was um, turned and sent away from two other rides because they said that he was too large for the ride. Now, once he got on the ride and they went up in the air, the ride ejected him from the ride and he fell all the way down to his demise. Now, a lot of people thought that he was not locked in properly, and it turns out that he was locked in, and the harness and the safety mechanisms was still around him when he hit the bottom. He just was too large, and it came apart, and he fell down. Now, there was a lot of controversy about it, and it was a very, very sad, sad story because you go and you want your children to enjoy a good time at the amusement park. You're not thinking that, you know, they're going to leave not alive anymore, and it's just a sad and unfortunate situation. 
So being that a lot of people were talking about this, this woman who is a cuckoo bird decided to lie and fake like she was his relative. She went as far as to create a GoFundMe account. She was trying to, you know, act like she was boots on the ground. She was so devastated and she was claiming that he was her cousin. And so a lot of people was, you know, showering her with love. And it's just crazy. It turns out that she was a whole shame and a lie. She was not related to him. The family does not know her, nor have they ever met her in their lives. I'm going to show you guys some of her cuckoo bird um, stuff that she had going on, child. They even had um, like a, a balloon release at the park. OK, they had a balloon release at the amusement park to which she had people come and it was a few people who all was trying to, like, comfort her because she said that she was his cousin and she was just sitting there acting like she was so devastated. And I'm like, how many of these other people in red also knew that she wasn't related because whoever else knew that this girl was not really family, y'all are sick too. And I feel like stuff like this, people need to go to jail. People need to go to jail. This is just ridiculous. You lying about being related to somebody, look at her. She just acting so devastated. They, you know, they consoling her. They trying to make sure she's all right. And she is just really performing as if, she is related to this boy, and she has no relation to him at all, never met him nor his family, don't know him at all, and just came up with this charade. Now, I can't play the audio because they're playing music, but, you know, they trying to console her, turning her around. You know, she lied, talking about she she had to clean up his blood, just all kind of stuff that she was doing trying to get sympathy and it is just crazy. Like, girl, what? Girl, what? So this is what she said to the news when they asked her about it. Hold on, wait. Girl. So I went back in my job and I got him some money. She made up a out. whole story, And I said, what you finna do with it? He said, I want to get on the swing on International. I said, okay, ride it twice and ride it for me, too. So she is claiming before he got on the ride, they had a conversation and she told him to ride, ride the uh thing twice and ride it for her. She just came up with a whole lie, a whole fake fabricated story that never happened and went to the news and performed. My cousin, let me hold some money. I said, I don't got no money. He said, yes, you do. So I went back in my job and I got him some money and I brought it back out. And I said, what you finna do? He said, I want to get on the swing on International. I said, okay, ride it twice and ride it for me too. And he called me back about seven minutes later. He said, they said I'm too big, I can't ride. So I said, go try another one. That's when he came to try the slingshot. And he said, they told him he was too big for that. So he said, well, cousin, it's another ride. I'm going to try it out. I said, okay. Child, just a whole lie. Like, how you just come up with this whole lie? Like, she done heard that he was refused on two other rides. And she just came up with a whole story. Like, he just giving her the play-by-play. -play, like, oh, I got rejected from this ride. All right, go, cousin. Go try another one. I got rejected from this ride. Okay, go try another one. Like, girl, that don't even look good on you if this was real. Like, you lying. But even if that was real and you see that he's over the weight capacity and you telling him to try another ride and another ride, like, that, that, that you would be responsible, too. Like... So that don't even sound like a good lie, but here's the rest of what she had to say. And he called me, he said, they let me ride. I, I can ride, I can ride. And I said, okay, get on. Didn't know this would be my last time talking to him alive. He just wanted to run. Cousin, let me hold some money. I said, I don't got no money. He said, child, a shame, a shame. So after she was making her rounds on the news, his mother looked at that and was like, I don't know this lady. I don't know her at all. I don't know who this woman is. She's not related to us or anything. Child, listen to her saying that she uh, cleaned up the blood. Hold on. 
Hold up, child. Hold on. Because I'm just like, girl, you need your butt whoops. You, you need to... <laughs> You need to get smacked. Watch Shorty in the black when she says clean his blood up. Over and over. The hardest thing I had to do was clean his blood up. They didn't even... <laughs> 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 I had to clean it up. Watch Shorty in the black when she says clean his blood up. Over and over. The hardest thing I had to do was clean his blood up. <laughs> Girl, what? What? Girl, what? Hold on, wait. Will Tyree's family? They say, yes, you do. So I went back in my job and I got Watch Shorty in the black when she says clean his blood up. I want to get on this plane. I'm international. I said, okay, ride it twice and ride it for me, too. He called me back about wait, seven. Wait, 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 wait. Well, Tyrese, wait, hold up. Because I'm just like, I cannot believe her. We go get into a little bit more. But the family was like, girl, we don't even know you. You don't even go here. Like, who are you? Hold on, wait. It was another post that I wanted to show y'all. Five minutes later, he said, they said I'm too big, I can't ride. So I said, go try another one. That's when he came to try to sleep. Hold up, wait, hold up, wait. Where did that post go? Tears flowed from the eyes of Samson's cousin, Shay Johnson, who muttered, it's not right, over and over. The herpes thing I had to do was clean his blood up. They didn't even clean it. They left it there and I had to get it up. The group released balloons into the sky in his honor before shouting in unison. Three! Oh, Supporters no, came up. I gotta find that other post. Hold up. Hold up. Where is it at? <laughs> I can't believe I lost it. No! Child. Okay, here it goes. The family was like, ma'am, we don't know you. A woman who said her name is Shay Johnson has been claiming she is the cousin of Tyree Sampson. The woman's been holding news conferences, hugging people, collecting petition signatures, and leading a vigil outside the free fall ride, conducting lots of interviews. And now the Orange County Sheriff's Office says Sampson's mother told detectives she doesn't even know who this person who claims to be Shay Johnson is. Attorneys representing the family also told us none of the family members know Johnson. The sheriff's office is not aware of any crimes being committed at this point, like collecting funds. The woman who said her name is Shay Johnson has been claiming she is the cousin of Tyree Sampson. The woman's been holding news conferences, hugging people, collecting petition signatures, and leading a vigil outside. Child, the family said we do not know you. And she just got her ugly cry on like she just knew the boy. She, you don't even know him. You don't even know him. Child, you don't even know him. Look at this mess. <laughs> so then once they did some digging, the news found out that she had a Facebook account that she was going by the name of Shay Johnson. She was telling people her name was Shay Johnson. And turns out that she was a person whose name is Louisinia Browning or something. I don't even know how to pronounce her name. But her real name is Louisinia or something like that Browning. So according to some reports, it says that she even went as far as to open up a GoFundMe account to try to collect money for this in incident. Like, she even tried to collect funds, okay? She even tried to collect funds, and she was, like, on her um, on her post saying that she has a lot going on, you know, at this time, whoop, 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 all of this. She time. said. And it just was a mess. So it turns out that in addition to her lying about this, 
that she also was working at a rip club. Okay, she was working at a rip club, and at the rip club, she um got fired. Okay, she ended up getting fired from the rip club. And they started to even use this situation for clout, child. The Rip Club even started trying to use this situation for clout. And it just is a mess. I'm like, everybody trying to clout chase off of a sad and unfortunate situation. And it just don't make no sense. So the Rip Club, child, they posted up a post. Okay. And in the post that they posted up, they posted up this photo right here. And in the caption, they said, we have separated ourselves from this individual that goes by multiple names. She is no longer welcome here. So they posted this, sharing that they have severed ties with her. And it's like, how do we know where she worked at? And why is a rip club telling us that y'all didn't fire her, child? They even went as far as to repost um little duval so little duval made a comment because i guess this is apparently a extremely hood rip club this ain't even a sophisticated rip club this is a hood booger rip club and little duval says she got fired from flash how you get fired from a rip club and one of the hoodest rip clubs at that how you get fired at the at the most hoodest rip club at that So then they went as far as to even throw a bash in the name of her being fired child. They done made a whole flyer and a whole event out of firing her child. So it says tonight, bye bye Candy Red slash Shay Johnson or whatever your name is, bash. And this is going out at Flash Dancers Rip Club. And they gave the address, child. They gave the address and they they had a whole bash in the name of Shay at this Rip Club. Now, they even went as far as to fake a text message, child. And I'm like, y'all are crazy so not only is she crazy but the rip club is also crazy because they done faked a whole text message acting like they were going to get a restraining order on her or whatever saying that she is ruining their reputation at the rip club you mean to tell me y'all got an upstanding reputation at the rip club now i don't knock nobody for how they get their money now if you a ripper And you got to get it out the mud. Hey, I'm not going to knock you. Get it out the mud. But y'all not going to sit here and act like y'all are leading an upstanding organization, child. Please, please miss me with it. Miss me with it. They really sat here and tried to act like they got an upstanding establishment or whatever. I'm just like, child, y'all do too much. So as you see here, this is an alleged text that they are claiming to have sent her. It says, you are so out of line. You're causing me so much distraught with my business because of your actions. Please stay away from me and my business if I put a restrainer on you today. So they are claiming that they sent her this text. Okay. And then the people with iPhones said, hold up, wait a minute. Now, whenever you have an iPhone and you send a message to another person that has an iPhone, the sender message is blue. Whenever you receive a message from a person with another iPhone, the receiving message is gray. So why are they showing a text that they done sent from one phone to the next, but then y'all didn't even remember to show the right phone that sent it? Y'all showed the text from the phone that y'all text the other phone that received it. And the people want to know, why are y'all going out of y'all way to, in addition, chase clout on a tragic situation right along with the crazy girl who said that she was related. The people have questions and the people want to know. The people want to know 
why is everybody chasing clout? Okay. In the caption of this post, they said, Good afternoon. My name is Willie. I own Flash Dancers. And it's sad and unfortunate what happened to that young man. But what this girl has done is unacceptable and we will not tolerate any type of actions of that kind of conduct. This is a text of what I sent that individual that claimed to be the cousin of the young man. So the people was like, wait a minute, if you sent the text and you saying that you sent the text, why is your text in gray? Why your text in gray if you the sender? That's not how iPhone works. And even if you, the sender, sent the text, if the other person does not have an iPhone, then it would turn green. So the sender's message would either be green or blue. Green for people who don't have an iPhone, blue for people who do have an iPhone. And the people want to know, why, sir, are you lying, trying to chase clout as well? We, 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 we really want to know. But let me um, show y'all what he posted. Hold on. Let me save it real quick. Let me show y'all what he posted. Talk about he the person that sent it and they not going to tolerate it. Like they just got this super upstanding establishment, child. And I'm just like, again, I'm not knocking nobody that strip. But, child, don't try to act like y'all. At, at the at the church or something <laughs> like this is a respectable <laughs> establishment so this right here is what willie posted along with this text child good afternoon my name is willie i own flash dancers blah 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 bop she's ruining and what she did is unacceptable and at the last the second to the last line y'all see right here it says i sent that individual that claimed to be the cousin of this young man so this is a text of what i sent her and the people all in the comments is calling him out saying why is you lying liar why are you lying sir that's what the comments want to know hold up let me <laughs> let me pull up the comments child let me pull up the comments because the comments was like you lying and she lying and i don't like that i don't like it <laughs> so um uh, hold on let me make it bigger so somebody said if you sent the text to her with an iphone how the f did you get the gray end of the text you are caught goodbye <laughs> somebody else in the comment said now i'm confused because this is the receiving end of a message a not a sent in so what's really going on? So then someone else said, so what's going on? Like you got her phone or something? How you get the uh how you get the SS of the text? If you sent it, it would have been blue. <laughs> then somebody said, that is so sad. Shaking my head. Only black people think to do ish like this. Another person said, sir, you are clout chasing. Okay. <laughs> yes and somebody l in the chat says she's from florida and that explains a lot that explains a lot for everybody involved because it, it is just a shame all the way around that people would go to this length to try and you know fake <laughs> They would try to fake this. Like, <laughs> child. So then somebody had to confirm that the girl's real name is Lou. Lou, I can't even say the damn name. It's Louis Sheena or something. So this is her right here, child. This is the woman right here. Her real name is Louis She. Wait, how you say it? So this person says, thank you all for reaching out. It is true. Shay Johnson's real name is Louis Sheena Browning. It is, and she is not Tyree Sampson's cousin. It is confirmed by the immediately family 
that she is not family for neither side. We just found out late last night, and we are trying to assure the community is aware the real family acts that you continue to provide them with space, prayers, and positive words. They assured us this situation is being handled by authorities. Please do not donate anything to her on behalf of the family. All donations should go through the Mother's GoFundMe posted on my page. Okay? His name is Tyree, not Trey. Another lie she told, child. She even then gave him a new nickname and everything. Just lying. Just lying. And the people want to know why is y'all out here lying like this? And why did the strip club throw a whole bash and try to clout chase off of the situation? Now, there was a news article that showed that she had um, several arrests as well like the she been you know she been getting arrested and even her brother called her out for lying child her brother was like now sis why is you doing all of that lying <laughs> why is you doing all that lying child they done pulled up her mug shots so this is louis sheena okay and they found her mug shots and everything to prove that she is full of it. And I guess she must have got a tan. She must have been out in the sun. Because in some pictures she looked light. In some pictures she looked dark. But child, this is the same woman, child. It's the same woman. And she got a whole bunch of arrests that these people done pulled up. Now let me show you what her, her brother had to say. And then we're going to get up out of here. Because people are crazy. So as you've seen, her name is Louis Sheena Browning, right? So Louis Browning, who is her brother, said, my sister is the MFing goat. Damn, a little eye drop and a news crew. Damn. OK. And then he said, Otis always told me it was some crazy MFers in our family. OK. And then the brother says. Quita Browning and Shorty Low, I'm going to send Miss James to pray for y'all, Sister Shay Johnson. I got to change my damn business name from Browning. Okay, so he clowning because she out here telling people her name is Shay Johnson. And he's saying that now he got to change his business name from Browning, child, because Louis Sheena is out here lying. Okay out here with posters and everything like she just so <laughs> she just so devastated child got people signing petitions crying bawling girl you need your a whooped you need your a whooped but you know this is a form of mental illness it's mental illness it's mental illness period and it's a shame it is a shame <laughs> It is a shame, shame, shame. But, you know, I just wanted to bring this to y'all real quick. It's a hot mess. And, um, you know, sis got fired on her day off from an entity that was also clout chasing child. She done got fired on her day off by the, <laughs> the clout chasing rip club. <laughs> I cannot. My condolences in all seriousness, though. Now let's 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 get serious. My condolences to Tyree's family. It is a sad, unfortunate situation that they have to deal with the loss of their loved one, and then to have this negativity attached that people trying to create GoFundMe's, trying to lie, scam, and say that they're related to try to receive money and stuff. It's sick. It's very, 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 very sick. On top of what they already have to deal with, so my condolences out to the family. I could not even imagine. I would really, I would literally, if I was the family, want to whoop her. A. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just too much. That's just people take stuff too far sometimes. It's just way too much. <laughs>